Hey everybody, uh, welcome to CS uh, 2019. This is uh, the ASUS ZenBook S. This is the new one that they launched here at the show. Um, so I'll get a, a bit of a preview, a, kind of an exclusive look at it. It's uh, very sexy as you can see. The thing you'll notice right away is that this is kind of looks like a 12 inch laptop, but this is a, almost a 14 inch screen, 13.9 inch, because of this insanely thin bezel all the way around it. And the way they were achieving this obviously is by cramming a bigger panel as they can with this little bezel, but they still haven't lost the the camera notice it's not in a key like some of the uh, Huawei uh, laptops or it's not at the bottom like the XPS from Dell it's right up here so they've managed to cram a little camera and to do that you get this kind of little bevel thing here that is really cool because when you close the laptop you can see it's highlighted nicely you just lift it up and ta-da, there you are. So that's kind of one of the nice things about this laptop that really defines it as a unique product. Um, the thing to understand though is that that comes with some limitations. No touchscreen, and this is a 1080p panel, that's all you're gonna get. So in terms of specs otherwise, there's Core i5, Core i7, um, eight gigs of RAM with up to 16 gigs, 256 gigs of storage up to one terabyte, Fingerprint uh, reader right in the trackpad, very, very Asus. Uh, this is unibody, all metal, right? Um, as you can see, there's chamfered edges and machined, and like here's like circular brush pattern, and here you've got like this kind of sideways brush pattern. And what's interesting is the edges are metal, but they're actually painted. And of course, the bottom is a metal panel. So nothing's really changed from the traditional design. You still have the ergo lift hinge, as you can see here ergo lift so it, it kind of lifts the keyboard a little bit when you open and uh, yeah this is a uh, pretty much a continuation of the designs we saw from asus uh, before um, like at computex 2018 etc etc now other than the specs i already give you you can see on the edges here you have two usb-c um, and then there's a micro sd uh, card slot on this side and then on the other side i love this part here zenbook series on this side you get a, a standard usb3 which is really nice headphone jack uh, notification leds i mean uh, for hard drive and charging uh, pretty much standard fare for asus um, and of course the keyboard is backlit which you can expect so i'm not sure what the pricing details on this but you know it's going to be priced like other zenbook s's it's going to be a premium more higher end product but not like out of the uh, insanely expensive either so uh we'll we'll tell you more once we know more but that's the new zenbook s here at cs 2019. Hey, welcome back to CS 2019 with ASUS devices. This is a new line of devices from ASUS. It's called the Studio Book. It is a uh, really, really lovely large laptop, 17 inch display, designed specifically for creative people, video editors, people who you know create and design all day. Well, notice the trackpad has this cool number pad built in with tactic, uh, taptic, sorry, feedback. So it's really cool when you click on it, you can feel it just like a MacBook, but with the numpad. There's a fingerprint reader here and a nice back lit display and um, you know it's a pretty big machine um, but the the thing here the reasoning in this is like basically carrying a desktop with you everywhere you go and the way they did that is by putting an Intel Xeon processor in here so it's like kind of amazing really like in terms of specs um, it also has a Quattro video card let's see if I can log in here there we go so um, as you can see, you know, it has it has a large display and it's driven by a Quattro video card, which I think is really, really cool. I'm looking at the specs here. It's the P3200 Quattro from NVIDIA. So, you know, in terms of um, like performance with GPU performance, this thing's not going to let you down. Um, Intel Xeon, which is kind of amazing. Uh, there's up to 64 gigs of storage, uh, sorry, of RAM. And then storage goes to four terabytes of SSD, which is, you know, quite the beast, obviously. So let's have a look at quickly at the ports on the sides. You're going to see there's lots of vents because there's separate cooling for the GPU and the uh, CPU, of course. Uh, Kensington lock, you got uh, a power uh, connector, USB type C, HDMI. My uh, USB 3 headphone standard size SD card and then on the other side you get two more USB 3 ports which is pretty awesome I presume that this does also Thunderbolt because it should since it's the only USB-C port on here lots of cooling right which you know you need for a laptop like this but this is cool because as soon as you know so far it's always been about um, the Zenbooks and you know there's a cheaper Zenbook line as well but this you know kind of cranks things up a notch for creatives uh, you know video folks graphic designers that sort of thing 
thing. So that's the ASUS Studio Book with the cool numpad trackpad and some really killer specs. Hey, I'm back at CS 2019 with the ASUS uh, lineup. This is actually a Republic of Gamers ROG. Look, looks like a gaming laptop, right? But haha, little do you know. This is a pretty heavy machine, but it's a gaming machine. When you go like this, you push down on it, a little thing comes out in the back with a glow. And more importantly, then the keyboard comes down like that. So what you really have is kind of like a gaming workstation that you can take with you. And the best part is that the keyboard disconnects. At that point, you can fold it over like this and use it as a separate keyboard. It's wired, obviously wireless, but if you want it wired, you have a USB Type-C connection here. And so, uh, you know, basically, uh, it's, it's kind of very versatile. If you want to use another keyboard, you can do that with a dongle or whatever. You don't have to be stuck with this. But basically, it makes a more comfortable gaming experience. So that's basically the, the, the design of this thing. And it's, it's really very cool. You know, you've got this, this hinge here, and then this goes like this, and cool. Um, you know, cooling and stuff. So it's pretty heavy, but let's talk about the specs really quickly. This thing is a monster. As you saw the display, it's a 17 inch display. It's got uh, 1080p, doesn't seem that high res, but that's 144 hertz refresh rate, three millisecond response time. So for gamers, that's really what we want. Um, Core i9 is the main uh, CPU in there. And there's an RTX 2080 full on NVIDIA. Ch uh, chipset in there for graphics for GPU separate cooling of course all that good stuff 64 gigs of RAM uh, 1.5 terabytes of storage roughly five basically five five twelve tera uh, gigabyte SSDs three of them two of them are connect directly to the CPU so it's not going through the chipset except for one of them which is really cool uh, so basically again stuff that gamers want you know there's um, I believe a gigabit 2.5 gigabit Ethernet there is a uh, Wi-Fi 6 and a bunch of other stuff so let's look at the ports uh, there's a Thunderbolt here as you can see USB-C um, this is a USB 3 headphone microphone. Uh, you've got that gigabit, 2.5 gigabit connector. You've got USB 3. And then on the other side here, you got more ports. You got a couple of charge ports, uh, HDMI, USB 3, another USB C, probably Thunderbolt equipped. Uh, so, and, and SD card. So, you, you know, if you really want to, you can use this machine for video editing. But I think what really makes this cool, again, is you push on this, you get this down. You know, you get this here, and then if you want, you detach it, boom, you got a completely new experience as a gaming laptop. So that's basically what we have here with the ROG Mothership. That's what it's called. It's crazy, crazy awesome. So stay tuned for more from CS for the Mobile Tech Podcast. Subscribe to the podcast at mobiletechpodcast.com. And uh, remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video, tell your friends about everything, and uh, we'll see you soon. Cheers.